For this standby, I want to take a look at my hot water heater. Maybe you haven't looked at a hot water heater before, but one of the things you'll notice right away is that apparently they're extremely dangerous. So it's probably not a good idea to monkey around with it too much. One of the things I want to show you though is that inside the hot water heater, there's a continuous flame called the pilot light. And when the water needs to get heated up, a little stove turns on from that pilot light and basically boils the water inside. Now you don't actually want the water boiling, otherwise you would scald yourself every time you turn on the hot water. So this little dial allows you to set how hot the water gets inside the heater. Now if we think about this for just a minute, this sounds like an awful idea. I've got a giant metal drum that's completely closed off, I've got liquid inside, and I'm heating it up. Basically this is a bomb in my basement. I mean, if somehow this little temperature sensor broke and the heater just kept running, the water would just start boiling it creates steam, I'd have this crazy pressure cooker until the whole thing exploded. In fact, that's actually happened before in people's homes and it destroys the entire house. That's why this thing right here is so incredibly important. This is like an emergency valve. There's a really strong spring here that keeps the valve closed, but if the pressure inside this tank ever got too high, it would push the spring out and the water would come shooting out of the bottom. In fact, it should be the case that if I pull this little dial, let me not adjust that actually. <laughs> it should be the case that water would just come out the bottom. I once came home and the basement had a big pool of water down here. It turned out that that valve had kind of broken. It's important that anytime you have a confined heated system, you have some sort of emergency pressure release valve built in. I'll leave you with one last question. If the water inside this heater is so hot, why is it that when I touch it, it doesn't feel hot at all? There's a hint right there. Stand by.